look like an orange, like the fruit. An orange, like, you know, orange, orange. Even my skin kind of looks orange. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. So, you guys can tell from the title below, it's going down. We're doing reviews. The thing is, I have used a lot of skincare products that I have never done a review on. And I don't know why I never did, but here it is, okay? If you hear any noises, please, they're doing construction behind my house. Frankly, I cannot go and stop them. I am tired. This is the best time to, you know, get the light, you know, the natural light. The sun is out. I need to, you know, do this pow pow and <laughs> get up and leave. So now we're going to review on the Ole Henriksen products that I personally purchased. Now, before we start, I did do an impulse buy with this product specifically. When it came out, um, I love Sarahi did a video on it and I love I love Sarahi I love love Sarahi <laughs> so um, yeah she recommended it she was using it. I was like oh my god I need my hands on this but then no one was going to come to Ghana to come get it for me and um, at that time yes and frankly I didn't want to order and then it wouldn't come so I was like okay let me wait so the so last year um, I noticed that um, Ghanaian uh, own uh, businesses had started purchasing you know the online um, beauty stores had started restocking on them I was like okay let me get my hands on a sample size because I would rather do that than go and buy a big thing and I, I've learned my lesson you guys I wouldn't buy anything so big that when I use it and it's still full it's still there waste of money so then um, I got these sample size from everything beauty gh so if you're in ghana you can check them out as well they do restock on it and other you know but that's where i got it from so um i wanted something with the consistency of my sisley hydro boost um, moisturizer that was what i was using but i ran out i will definitely do a video on that a review on that love it so um yeah because my skin was so dry i needed something really really you know hydrating and I wanted something that would not you know change my color okay I've noticed that many moisturizers I for a long time I avoided moisturizers because sometimes my face would be darker than my body and it doesn't make sense I, I, I don't know what happened so I don't want that to happen so then when this came out and it says a brightening I'm like okay let's see I'm not saying you should bleach my face but you know don't let me look different shades sometimes when you're like me it's very hard to get something going so anyway um yeah i did impulse buying on that so let's just move on so we're going to start with the ole henriksen c rush brightening gel cream now this is a small travel size that i have right here as you guys can tell it's empty you guys, I just scraped the last one on my face right now. And I'm going to let you know why. I'm going to, you know, show you why. So, um, this says here that it delivers 24-hour hydration. Which, um, I would say that after a few hours, if you're in the sun or if you're out of the bowel, trust me, it's not going to give you hydration. I mean, it may give you hydration, but... You will look greasy, okay? That is one of the cons with after a few hours, I think at most five, you will look greasy. Take that from me, please. And it says it brightens. It says firms and targets fine lines and wrinkles. Fine lines and wrinkles, yeah. I don't know, but firm I could say it did because when you apply it it becomes tacky and then you know you feel a little bit plump but other than that it says experience a 24 hour rush of moisture you can see which is vitamin C now these days I've been wiser and I've grown okay into you know taking care of my skin i don't just buy anything put it on my skin so okay. um looking right now at the ingredients you guys ingredients are also like there's so many ingredients and most of them i can tell are like 
fragrance and this is something that I'm trying to avoid altogether with my sensitive skin because fragrance can sometimes really harm the skin but I like it when it's more or less like a wash off sometimes wash offs are okay okay but so hard you know so many extracts so many fruit extracts citrus another fruit extract rosa whatever like it, it's about it's more than 20 you know ingredients right here I'm going to put it here so many ingredients that someone like me should avoid you know and it, it one thing about ingredients you know especially extracts and essential oils and smells is that sometimes it works for you okay there's some good ones out there but the long term of using some products can really really harm your skin as to anti-aging okay and sometimes it might not really help you in the long run so um to be honest if I had known this prior to buying this product I would have avoided it at all cost okay like I wouldn't have purchased it. a sea rush gel can improve makeup application creating a smooth hydrated canvas for foundation powdered powered by three sources of vitamin C which is the rose winter that imparts a, a rush of brightness you can see a soft supple crush worthy ole glue so um, one thing I'm going to say in the in what I just read is that it is very good for makeup application as I said I scraped it and then I put it on you guys I I didn't use this moisturizer for long as a moisturizer the con being that after a few hours I looked greasy I didn't feel hydrated I couldn't you know I felt a bit heavy when I went to sleep instead of light okay but I noticed that when I applied makeup you know I didn't even know this I didn't even know this prior to you know purchasing that I didn't read it someone gave me a review so I bought it so then applying makeup with this you guys it is bomb I'm currently wearing it right now it is bomb it, it becomes very tacky so then I've noticed that even before this I've noticed that tacky base wears well with foundation and gives you a smooth application I don't know which tacky base I used years ago but it did and it turned out beautifully so then I'm going to definitely say that the only thing they said that was right about this moisturizing cream is that I would advise someone who wants to purchase it to use it as a foundation base as a primer mostly to also hydrate and then keep that tackiness and your makeup in place the next product that I did that came with this it was a travel size package was the Ole Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Cream. Fine lines, wrinkles, collagen boost, hydrates, all that. And yo, the ingredients, the ingredients. You guys, I think this this has a lot more ingredients than the um gel cream. You know, like, oh my gosh. The ingredients. Holly Henriksen, what are you doing? Vitamin C, gold standard for targeting visible signs of aging. Collagen helps to improve the look of skin youthful elasticity. Banana powder inspired pigments instantly illuminates. You guys, I have this small concoction. I mix Vaseline with coffee and aloe vera. Sometimes I do apply that in sleep. So if you guys are looking for something like that, that will help with, you know, plumping and then waking you up, that's a little recipe. Anyway, um, with this um, brightening banana eye cream, to be honest, meh, that I'm not seeing anything. And one thing I did was I, t I usually take a lot of products. I used to take a lot of products. So what I do is I just dip it in just a tiny bit like this. Like not too big put it on my other finger and then I also you know swirl around before I put it under my eye that is how I use this and I don't always use this and frankly this size is the best because buying a bigger size trust me unless you really really love this product 
I would definitely tell you to go in with something safer like um, other um, brands do have it Cetaphil um, CeraVe you know those brands that won't actually really harm you but this is not really going to harm you anyway it's just that there has a lot of there's too way too many products in it and I don't always reach out for this as I said I do have another mixture that I made myself personally that I do use so then this I don't have much to say I did apply it today just to show you because I've noticed that whenever I put it under my eye sometimes my eye just creases way too much and you could you know easily wipe away the um, product so then putting under eye cream sometimes just it's not worth it I've been doing it without eye cream for so long you just need to wash off your makeup and then apply eye cream you don't really need to so for this it's not by force okay you could definitely purchase this if you want to if you're looking for something fancy but other than that okay guys so you can definitely see how it looks underneath this foundation look at how it gives that little glow and then it's tacky so then with the foundation it just sits on your skin really nicely trust me gel based creams are really really nice on the skin especially when it wears with your makeup anyways guys so this is the end of this review for the Ole Henriksen products that I do have the gel cream and the banana bright um eye cream so um yeah I will personally use the gel cream to you know sit as a makeup base but other than that that's it because then after the makeup I'm going to wash it off and I'm not always going to use it as my like you know staple skincare routine I'm trying to avoid products with a lot of you know ingredients in it with so many extracts and especially with a lot of scent in it you know making it smell good sometimes just a little bit is fine but if it's way too much I can't stand it yeah um let me know what you guys think of these products have you tried it what do you think do you like it or not put it in the comments below let me know and you guys should you guys should definitely thumbs up and subscribe you know share this video as well like those who want to watch a review on the skincare stuff and that i'm definitely going to do one on the sisley which i love very much so then yeah stay tuned for that one and i'll see you guys in my next video bye